Welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are around this beautiful planet of ours. You've got your sweat on, spend some time with the family, doing the things that you absolutely love. In this video, let's look at Bitcoin, throwing a little bit of hopium into the mix for those upside targets as we continue to track the Wyckoff accumulation or the potential accumulation based on the data that we're seeing in the chart. So we need to be prepared for any sort of upside. Remember, we are investing and trading on the channel, which means we need to be prepared for both sides of the market. This is not a bullish flip to bearishness and bearish flip to bullishness. The whole idea, if you're sort of figuring it out by now, is to be prepared for both sides of the market, just in case. What would happen if this happened? What would I do if the other thing happened? So let's have a look at some of the upside targets here for Bitcoin, crypto, and Ethereum as we get closer to that merge and the strength continues to remain in ETH. First things first, like the video up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you wanna wait till the end of the video to see if it's something that you actually enjoy, I'll remind you again at the end. Also a quick reminder for the Investor Accelerator newsletter. This one will be coming out a little earlier than normal, so make sure you are on that list. It is in the top of the video description. We'll also be sending out our link to Discord as well. And then we've got some big announcements coming up for the website and the TIA Premium and TIA Lite memberships might be some specials there because we are doing a major upgrade. So things are gonna be changing. Make sure you're on that newsletter list now. All right, Bitcoin, bear market downtrend, update from the channel here. Obviously yesterday, buying the dips can be very scary and sickening in the gut. We saw a little bounce back. Uh, this is August video, basically just bringing this all together. August, September, worst times in crypto. The title was not enjoyed by people at the time. However, I think it's pretty much remained true to this point. August, not much happened here. Everyone was still excited. The market then dumped and has dumped a little more here in September. However, the piece that I was making here, the point I was making is we're probably not gonna see much in terms of trading outside of the range. The August and September, historically speaking, just looking at the data, not my opinion, just looking at the data, uh, these months aren't the months that the market likes to make significant moves. This doesn't stand for 100% of everything out there, but generally speaking, more often than not, we're not gonna see those extreme major moves. So we have some time here to prepare ourselves, and that's what we're looking at in today's video, getting our plans together, whether we wanna buy this low, should I wait, should I not, what's the upside, what are the risks, that's what you've got to layer into your plan. Bear market downtrend still intact. We are getting closer. And this is what August and September might be about actually is uh, buying time into the bear market downtrend before we possibly, you know, we're layering up some scenarios here, see a break to the upside and then find out where this next low will be held. Is this the low that we're forming into now in September? The main thing is, are we going to see a higher low through 2022 after the June low, or are we gonna see a breakout and a lower low with a test to the underside and further downside? This is gonna be the critical point here when we break out of the bear market downtrend. And like I said earlier, the market seems to be buying time, trading in this range before it makes its attempt at breaking that. The importance of breaking that is one of our checklist items to go from a bear to a bull doesn't mean it's about to take off to new all-time highs. It just means that the bulls are starting to take control and they are showing us that in terms of the market data here. They have more buyers are coming to the market. It's simple supply and demand. And that's why we use the charts. For the short term on Bitcoin, we've seen the bounce so far from the low here. So this was that secondary test that we we're looking at for Wyckoff, looking in that oversold area, looking at that schematic going from the selling climax, secondary tests, we can have multiple secondary tests, and it's common to have multiple secondary tests after a selling climax, which means the price can go a little bit lower. There are all tests of this particular bar here on the 18th of June, 17.5K. The 6th of September saw that low come in, and then uh, the 7th just crept a little bit lower before it bounced back. So basically what's happened in the last 12 to 24 hours. The key here for the upside, looking for that hopium, what if crypto starts to bounce? To the upside, the resistance is 19.5. Market needs to close above that, I'd say within the next 24 to 48 hours, to then mount a case to get back above 20,700, and then get back above our short-term 
uh, Wyckoff flip bar, which is at 23.2. So that's this one here, long ranging bar, big price range, big volume. This was basically the bulls selling out of the market, the smart money getting out. You can see how many of these lows and this support area was basically broken down by just one single bar. So if we can get above that, like we look at in uh, major timeframes as well, this then gives us another signal that things are starting to change. We're going from very bearishness, you know, a very bearish environment to then starting to get to that bullish environment. So that's what we look out for and why we look for those particular bars getting flipped in terms of price. Another reasonable sign here on the short term is the bear rally decline. This doesn't mean that we won't test lower prices. It just means that the market is attempting to get back above these levels to come up and test some higher prices. So this was the bear rally decline. This is the bear rally and this is the decline. So the market is now, uh, has now broken out of that and tested the upper side. So what we want to see next is obviously those couple of levels that I just looked at, getting a close above those. So we can start to form the next stage of the uptrend to take out the higher prices. It's not confirmed yet, but at least we're seeing some short term signals to say the bulls want to test to see if there's any more supply coming in. If the supply comes in, market then gets sent back down again to test where the next support comes into the market. Our channel sponsors Mexi have 0% maker fees on spot trading pairs. This is open to anyone around the world. I've left a link in the top of the video description if you want to take advantage of the current offer. The next question we want to answer is what if crypto pumps? Should we be taking some profit on cryptocurrencies looking at some of the resistance levels? So this is key to understanding is it just a bear rally pump? Is it going to be a flip and the cryptos will never see a lower price? These are the levels on the chart that I'll be watching. So the 50% level from our June low to the top here in August, 50%, 980 billion. Top of that level, 1.18 trillion. This is on a log chart, so we'll look at linear in just a sec. But to get us to that point, depending on the time frame, it's going to be sitting somewhere around 1.35. Either way, I still want to see this market get above 1.5, which is both of these 50% levels and then the major macro bullish target for now is this bar right here, the peak of that bar. So the top of that is 1.569. This level has been in place since May. It's above the 50% level, so I like that. It's above the bear market downtrend, so I also like that. That is gonna be the macro play there above 1.57. And that's where I think Bitcoin cryptocurrencies will start to be able to form a more bullish base longer term going into that next bull cycle. But for now, we're still a long way from that. So based on the chart, based on the data here, any sort of pumps up to these levels are probably gonna be met with some sort of significant resistance before they can start to form a bigger, longer accumulation zone and then look for that more significant and uh, confirmed breakout. These levels are important to keep track of because even in a bear market or accumulation period, we also see big FOMO get thrown into the market, things like Ethereum, and that's gonna affect this chart. And if we can get an idea of where some of these resistance levels are, as we start to see maybe ETH turn or Bitcoin turn, then that can give us a signal to say, well, this is just another peak in the potential accumulation zone or basically a bear market rally. Same, same at that point, and maybe we'll see lower prices. And so the, the big merge, the big hype at the moment is obviously the Ethereum merge. Cardano has been talked about a lot, but really not much has happened in terms of price, which you looked at in yesterday's video. So go back and check that out at the end of this. I'll leave a link to it. Uh, as for ETH, 1700, key level here. You can see we've just peaked out at that in the last two days, reversed got a low forming and we're trying to attempt that 1700 again. You can see we've done it uh, twice already in the last three or so weeks and this might be our third time that we try to get past 1700. It's a major key level. It was the previous uh, bottom of the crash, so the little bear market in 2021. I say little but it was quite significant at the time and then also that wick down in May before the market basically went sideways and then dumped. So 1700, very, very key level for the market to flip in order to get back above the bear market uh, downtrend. So we're still a long way from that. Log, long way from that as well. Uh, the peak of the market is 20, 000, uh, sorry, 2050, so that's that top there. And then 22,000, 
$2,250 is the 50% level right here. And then of course the $2,500 level. So there's a lot of resistance on the way up for ETH, which is probably why it's taking so long to break past any of these levels. With the most bullish FOMO news that we have seen in a long time, from ETH. If this was in a bull market, you could probably bet your bottom dollar this thing would go skyrocketing. But because there's so many resistance levels on the way up now, it's just that extra bit harder. So I dare say, if we don't get past that 20,050 within this period of the merge FOMO, then that's obviously going to die off. Market sentiment starts to take a toll on the market, and we may see a pullback from there. Long term, the merge is going to be bullish for Ethereum. But it depends whether you want to be buying at 1600 or when it breaks at 2000 or if potentially we get a lower price because that market sentiment, the fire for the FOMO, basically just dies out and we have to see where the market finds support again. Lastly, ETH BTC is still on a charge. It's getting very close to these peaks at 8.8%. Remember our level here for the strong warning, the resistance is at 9%, so this is ETH BTC value. The 50% level of our range here, now we often look at this when we're trying to lay out some profit targets, especially with our members, TIA, Premium and, and Light, when we are trading the market, the 50% level is at 8.7%. So if you start to see the ETH BTC chart top and you're not seeing a push through in price past the previous tops here for ETH USD, that could be a leading signal that the market is going to turn. It's early days, there's no confirmation yet, but it's just early warning signs that the energy in the market is basically starting to fall short. So that level again, the 50% comes in really nicely with the previous peak, so that's 8.7%, 50% level here is 8.7%, so 8.7, 8.8, call it a round number above 9%. If the market can't do that, I think we've got some downside for the ETH price. As we looked at back in August, this is probably the most difficult or worst months for cryptocurrency. Don't get anywhere. This is just starting to get a little bit spicy. Learn from the markets if you are still here. Just keep tracking what's going on day to day. If you need to throw a little bit into the market to make you feel more alive, stay safe and have a plan that you follow no matter what happens. This is that time that I remind you to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully you like what you found here. Top of the video description is the link to TIA newsletter. Drop your email down there. Things are changing and I hope you can jump on board with us. Uh, link to MEXC and Bybit in the video description as well. I'll see you guys at the next video and if you haven't already, go get your sweat on, enjoy your day. Catch you at the next one. Till then, peace out.